Iginiit ni Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte na sa isang public debate niya nais makaharap ang United Nations Special Rapporteur on Extrajudicial Executions. Ito ay matapos sabihin ng UN Special Envoy sa isang interview na hindi nito maaring harapin sa isang public debate ang punong ehekutibo. Ayon kay Dr. Calamard, hindi umuno ito nakaayon sa conduct ng isang special rapporteur. Sa halip, iminungkahi ni Calamard na magkakaroon na lamang ng isang joint press conference kung saan maaring makapagtanong ang Pangulo sa resulta ng kanyang investigasyon. Una nang inimbitahan ni Pangulong Duterte na pumunta sa Pilipinas ang kinatawa ng United Nations upang makita nito ang umanoy tunay na kalagayan ng bansa at ng laban nito sa illegal drug operations. No, I want to discuss on public. So she can state her case, ganon, ginawa mo, then I can refute her. Kasi tatanungan ko lang sa, where did you get that garbage that can... I'll speak to Foreign Affairs Spokesperson Charles Jose. Good morning, ASEC Charles. Thanks for taking our call. Yes, good morning. Yes, um, sir, we spoke earlier with UN Special Rapporteur Ms. Agnes Calamard, and she said that the conditions set by the government for the visit contravene to the code of conduct she, she has to abide by as a Special Rapporteur. Your reaction to this, sir? Well, we all know that uh, President Duterte has attached uh, certain conditions uh, to the invitation that was extended to uh, Dr. Calamard uh, to visit the Philippines. Now, it is up to uh, Dr. Calamard to agree and comply with these conditions. Mm -hmm. Now, if uh, Dr. Calamard is saying that uh, she cannot accept these uh, conditions set by the President, then I, I think uh, uh, the visit may not uh, push through. Mm -hmm. Sir, Calamard doesn't want to engage in a, quote, politicized debate and instead suggested that there be a joint conference after a private briefing, what do you think about this? Well, President Duterte was clear in this uh, condition that uh, he wants uh, the uh, result of the investigation be presented in a public forum and that in that public forum, the President will be given the opportunity to, uh, to raise his own questions directed to uh, Dr. Calamard. Mm -hmm. She also said, sir, that since she has already explained her reservations to the conditions, it's now up to the Philippine government to review and hopefully agree to hold the investigation. So what's the next move of the government now? Well, as far as we are concerned, our position is it is up to Dr. Calamard to accept our conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, if, if she's saying now that she cannot accept, then as I said mm -hmm. earlier, uh, the visit may not uh, push through. With the government and Calamard rejecting the conditions, can the UN or any other international body still conduct a third-party investigation, sir? Any visit by uh, a UN special rapporteur to any country should be agreed upon by, by both sides. Mm -hmm. And uh, the terms of reference of the visit should be mutually agreed on. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Again, that was DFA spokesperson Charles Jose. Lininaw ng Department of Foreign Affairs na hindi kinansila ng gobyerno ang imbitasyon ni Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte sa UN Special Rapporteur na bumisita sa bansa. Ayon kay Foreign Affairs Secretary Perfecto Yasay, nasa desisyon na ni UN Special Rapporteur Agnes Calamard kung susundin o hindi ang mga inilatag na kondisyon ni Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte para magsagawa ng investigasyon sa isyo ng... She is not amenable to this condition, then she goes back to the protocol that is available under the United Nations. But first, she must apologize for the arbitrary findings that she has made. She must withdraw the findings immediately and admit in public before the international community because it has unfairly damaged the country that this conclusion that she arrived at was not verified at all. She has damaged the country tremendously. By her statement, people have jumped into conclusions that extrajudicial killings have, have, uh, have uh, been perpetrated to Philippines that there is rampant violation and state-sponsored violation of human rights. In fact, uh, this is one of the pages of which uh, the United States had also made its decisions in so far as certain assistance uh, given to the Philippines is concerned. The damage that she has wrought on the basis of her responsibility is so great. Samantala, sinabi ni Foreign Affairs Secretary Perfecto Yasay na nararapat lamang na humingi ng paumanhin si UN Special Rapporteur Agnes Calamard dahil sa nasirang imahe ng Pilipinas. Ito ay matapos niyang iulat ang umano'y pangaabuso sa karapatang pantao sa ating bansa 
nang hindi nagsasagawa ng investigasyon o dumaraan sa protocol. Muli, naguulat si Rocky Ignacio. Nanindigan ng Pilipinas na walang state-sponsored killings kaugnay na mahigpit na kampanya kontra ilegal na droga. Sinabi ito ni Foreign Affairs Secretary Perfecto Yasay kaugnay sa pahayag umano ni UN Special Rapporteur Agnes Calamard na posibleng hindi siya makapunta sa Pilipinas sakaling hindi makasunod sa kondisyon na nais umano ni Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte. Pero naniniwala ang kalihim na dapat humingi ng paamanhin ng Special Rapporteur dahil sa nasirang imahe ng Pilipinas. Nauna ng kinuesto ng Pangulo ang report ni Calamard na pagkakakasunod karon umano ng pag-abuso sa karapatang pantao sa Pilipinas na hindi man lamang dumaan sa protocol o pasaguti ng pamahalaan. She must apologize for the arbitrary findings that she has made. She must withdraw the findings immediately and admit in public before the international community. Gitpa na kalim hindi umano dapat pinagbatayan ng UN report ang mga pinalalabas lamang sa media na nagresulta sa pagkasira sa imahe ng Pilipinas. Nananatili pa rin anya imbitasyon ng Pilipinas kay Calamard na bumisita. I hope Ms. Calamard is not saying this because if she's really concerned about confidentiality, or well, if she already immediately announced her findings without even investigating first. So it is so hypocritical for her to say now that she'd like to come to the Philippines and investigate and preserve the confidentiality that she needs in arriving at the conclusions when she in fact already made the conclusions and was not very confidential in announcing the conclusions uh, based on the fact uh, based simply on, on media reports that were unverified. So I, I, I think the, the argument falls. No, the, the, the invitation given by the president is not for her to verify her findings uh, or to reevaluate re and reassess or review her findings. The invitation was given to the president so that if her coming over uh, will support the conclusion and decision that she already arrived at, the president will, have, will be given the opportunity precisely to debate with it and to argue against it. This was the condition. Sa harap kasi ng report, inalis na ang Pilipinas sa mga binibigyan tulong sa mahihirap na bansa sa ilalim ng Millennium Challenge Corporation o MCC. Pero ayon kay Yasay, wala namang umanong malaking epekto ito sa lagay ng ekonomiya ng Pilipinas. Uh, we would hope that America would, would try to reconsider this. This has always been our appeal to America. Treat us with mutual respect and treat us as a sovereign equal. You cannot just simply say that, oh, we, we, you know, we, we, we would like to give this to you, but you have to toe the line in so far as our policies is concerned. We, we understand uh, America's concern about violation of human rights, uh, as we are very deeply concerned about allegations of violation of human rights, and we are trying to address it in the best way we can. But America must make sure that in our ability to deal with our problems and addressing it as effectively as we could, they must recognize that we have to deal with these problems on the basis of the priorities and urgent needs that are on the ground for us to effectively address them. Now, uh, according to our uh, econom uh, economic uh, experts, uh, uh, the decision not to give us this uh, assistance under the Millennium Challenge Corporation will not really have a great impact. Samantala, hindi pa rin daw binabawi ni Pangulong Duterte ang imbitasyon kay UN Special Rapporteur Agnes Calamar para investigahan ang umunoy extrajudicial killing sa bansa. Pero giit ni Calamar, salungat sa Code of Conduct ng United Nations ang mga kondisyong hinihingi ng Pangulo. Nakatutok si John Susan. Dapat humingi ng tawad si UN Special Rapporteur Agnes Calamard para sa mga pahayag nito kaugnay sa gyera kontra droga ng gobyerno ng Pilipinas. Dati nang sinabi ni Calamard na ang paglaban sa ilegal na droga ay hindi dahilan para makalusot ang gobyerno sa pananagutan sa mga ilegal na pagpatay. She must apologize for the arbitrary findings that she has made. She must withdraw the findings immediately and admit in public before the international community, the damage that she has wrought on the basis of her responsibility is so great, it demands no less than an apology. Ayon sa PNP, mula noong Hulyo hanggang kahapon, 2,106 drug suspects na ang napapatay ng pulis sa anti-drug operations sa Administrasyong Duterte. Mahigit isang libo naman ang pagpatay ang iniimbestigahan kung may kinalaman sa droga. Paglilinaw ni Yasay, hindi binawi ng Pilipinas ang imbitasyon ni Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte kay Calamard na pumunta sa Pilipinas para mag-imbestiga sa drug killings. 
Pero nanindigan si Yasay na dapat sumunod si Calamard sa mga kondisyon ng Pangulo. Una, dapat under oath o pinanumpaan na magiging resulta ng kanyang investigasyon. Ikalawa, dapat silang magsagawa ng pampublikong debate ni Pangulong Duterte ukos sa findings. If she cannot comply with it, then that's the end of it. But let it not be said that the Philippines has withdrawn the invitation for her. The invitation still stands. Sa isang pahayag, sinabi ni Calamard na sinulatan na niya ang gobyerno ng Pilipinas para ipaliwanag na salungat sa kanilang code of conduct ang mga kondisyon ng Pangulo. Mahalaga raw kasi ang independence at confidentiality sa kanilang misyon. Kaya hindi raw siya maaaring humingi o tumanggap ng anumang kautusan sa anumang gobyerno o tauhan nito. Sana raw ay reconsidera ng gobyerno ng Pilipinas ang mga inilatag nitong mga kondisyon. Nais pa rin daw niyang matuloy ang pagbisita niya sa Pilipinas para investigahan ang umano'y extrajudicial killings sa gitna ng ginagawang gera kontra droga ng gobyerno. Nasa Singapore pa ngayon si Pangulong Duterte para sa kanyang state visit. Kahapon, nakipagpulong ang Pangulo kina Singapore President Tony Tan Keng Yam at Prime Minister Lee Shen Lung at nagdao sila ng state banquet. We work closely on political issues, pursuing principled positions on the role of law and the peaceful settlement of disputes. We reaffirm respect and independence and the non-interference in the internal affairs of states. Kilala ang Singapore para sa mahigpit nitong pagpapatupad ng batas. At ayon sa mga miyembro ng gabinete na kasama dito sa state visit, nagkasundo si na Pangulong Duterte at Prime Minister Lee Shen Lung na dapat walang patid ang paglaban sa droga at krimen. Handa raw magtulungan ang dalawang bansa na kapwa miyembro ng ASEAN para lalo mapaganda ang seguridad dito sa rehiyon. Executive Secretary Salvador Mideldea said the palace has sent the invitation to UN Special Rapporteur Agne Agnes Calamard and is awaiting her response. In its invitation, the palace also urged, and I think this is notable, the UN Rapporteur to include in her investigation the killings of law enforcers by drug suspects so that she could obtain an accurate perspective of the drug problem in the country. Nanindigan ng Malacanang na dapat isama din sa investigasyon ng United Nations ang mga pagpatay sa mga opisyal ng Philippine National Police ng mga sospek ng ilegal na droga sa bansa. Ito ay base na rin sa sinasabi ng Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte na nasa dalawang pulis ang naglalaglag sa PNP araw-araw dahil sa drug menace. Ayon kay Presidential Spokesperson Ernesto Abella, ito ang binigyang diin sa imbitasyon na ipinadalan sa United Nations. Hindi naman idinitali ni Abella kung kailan ay padalang imbitasyon na naantabayanan na ang magiging tugon ng UN. Kinukumpirma naman ni Abelia ang nakasaad sa imbitasyon ang kondisyon ng open forum ni Pangulong Duterte. Magugunit ang hinamon ni Chief Presidential Legal Counsel Salvador Panelo noong Agosto ang UN na pumunta sa Pilipinas at magsagawa ng imbitasyon sa insidente ng extrajudicial killings na inuugnay sa Pangulong Duterte. Sinagot naman ito ni UN Special Rapporteur Agnes Calamard sa isang tweet na bukas ito sa imbitasyon at nais nice na personal na makitang nasabing sitwasyon sa Pilipinas. Nanindigan si Foreign Affairs Secretary per Perfecto Yasay na dapat humingi ng tawad ang UN Special Rapporteur ni si Agnes Calamar dahil sa payag niyang ang gobyerno raw ang nasa likod ng mga EJK sa Pilipinas. Sa isang press con Singapore, sinabi ni Yasay na dapat bawi ni Calamar sa harap ng publiko at sa international community ang kanya mga naging payag nito. Hindi naman daw kasi ito nakabase sa masusing investigasyon, dagdag pa ni Yasay, pektador ang Pilipinas payag ni Calamar. Katunayan ay uh, naging pasyan daw ang mga akusasyon ng mga extrajudicial killings para hindi i-renew ang isang major aid package mula Amerika. Dati nang inimbitan ni Pangulong Duterte si Calamar para imbisigan ng mga umano'y EJK sa bansa. Pero ang kondisyon ay uh, gusto ng Pangulo na makapagtanong siya sa mga taga-UN at sa mga posibleng testigo at gagawin ito under oath. Ay naman kay Calamar, may inconsistencies ang mga kondisyong ito sa Special uh, Rapporteur Code of Conduct at Terms of Reference for Country Visits. Sasagot daw niya sa imbitasyon ng gobyerno ng Pilipinas, binigyan din niya ang mga prinsipyo ng independence at confidentiality na dapat maging gabay raw ng kanyang imbisigasyon. Ay naman kay Senator Laila Dilima, dapat pag-aralan muli ng Administrasyong Duterte ang mga ipinapataw nilang kondisyon kay Calamar. Importante raw na hayaan ng UN Rapporteur na gawin ang kanyang trabaho.